Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Turbo here. Uh, today, I just want to make a quick video about the do's and the don'ts when you're out dating a Thai girl for the first time. I mean, when you're on the first date, right? Um, this is not going to be one of those crazy, stupid long lists. I just picked out a couple of the most important ones. So, um, I'm going to start with the don'ts first. Now, first one, and this is a big one, by the way. Do not expect sex on the first date. That's right. Nah, playboy. If you want easy Thai girls, man, you take your ass to a bar or some shit like that. You don't need dating advice. I'm trying to, you know, get you dating decent Thai women here. Okay. See, here's the thing. Thai women, they are taught and raised to be conservative. That means they are actually socially programmed to be stingy with the pussy, so they're not giving out that they're not giving their pussy away easily. That's what I'm saying. Um, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's it's very unlikely. Um, I would say, but uh, I I I have I have pulled it off before, but it's like two times in my whole entire life, and I'm 42 fucking years old, so I'm yeah, so I'm old. Um, it, uh, in, in my case, right, it is uh, is when the wo we, we me and the woman has been texting back and forth for like a month, and she like she was shown really high interest, and we couldn't find the time to meet for a date, so she just invited me back, invited me to her place, and she lived alone. So when that happens, man, it's just one of those um, magical moments. You, you don't really have to do anything you just gotta dress up smell nice grab a pack of condoms on the way and she's gonna fuck the shit out of you but um in general right in general it's not gonna be like that the um, uh, the, the, the woman will have to kind of get get acquainted with you first so if you ain't been texting that long or if you were just arranged to meet on the first date don't even think about sex right just just enjoy your day out man don't think about sex. Don't try to invite her back to your place. Don't push for sex. And and and, uh, and this is the most important. Keep your hands to yourself. Right? Keep your hands to yourself, bro. Don't try to touch her up. Don't touch her on the shoulder. Don't touch her on the waist, on the hip, on the back. None of that. All right. If you do that shit, if you try that shit, that shit on a decent Thai girl, a proper Thai girl, on the first date, there's a good chance you ain't going to hear from her again. All right. And the second thing is, okay, second thing is, don't brag or boast. Um, what I mean is, uh, try to keep your mouth shut. Don't, don't, run, don't run your mouth. Don't be trying to tell her about your car collection, your watch collection, how much money you got at the bank, at the bank how, many business, how many businesses you are running. You know, don't, don't be trying to, don't tell her none of that shit. It, it usually comes, a woman will take, a woman is actually turned off by that shit if you try that on the first day, all right? It just comes off as you're, you're not really that confident, so you have to, you know, brag about all this shit to raise her interest, and which, it, but you're actually doing the opposite. See, when you, when you were just first dating a girl, right, if you're a guy who's doing financially well, and you have all that bullshit that I just mentioned, it's better to actually have the woman discover this about you later on as she gets to know you. It is much, much more attractive that way, trust me. All right. And what else have I got here? Um, oh, yeah. If you have to do, you, you, you just gotta, um, what, you, what you should do is, you should, well, most, women, most women, they like a man who is chilled and laid back. You understand what I'm saying? A man who's not trying too hard to impress her, right? So, but I advise you to just you know keep your mouth shut and let her do the asking, all right? But if you happen to come across one of those really Thai shy girls, who really shy Thai girls who doesn't talk much, you um, if you don't know what to talk about, you simply just look around your surroundings and find a topic to talk about. Don't, don't talk about anything serious. Uh, okay, now that, that's just a couple of big don'ts. 
and now I'm gonna go on to the do's first do be well groomed and you know what I mean is hygiene is very important okay uh, you, you can't go out on a date with fucking with black fingernails and greasy hair and shit like that right? be well groomed and smell nice you don't have to be like look look this is this is probably more important than the clothes you wear actually right you don't have to be wearing designer clothes or expensive clothes or shit like that you just gotta look and smell clean right because thailand is a damn hot country and um the locals here the people here they shower twice a day so um keep that in mind right it's, it's no point if you turning up on a date with armani armani top or louis vuitton shit gucci shit and you smell like fucking bo you know what i mean so um yeah and another thing to expect to do is expect to pay for the first date um, uh, as a matter of fact you you you're gonna be paying for all the dates actually all right so never 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 on the first date to never say let's go half half all right if you do that shit on the first date you ain't gonna hear from the woman again most likely right expect to pay for all the dates when you're out with a Thai girl and let me tell you this Thailand is a cheap country right the cost of living here is much much cheaper than Europe so it's not gonna hurt your pocket so that's that and sometimes right after like you, you went out with a girl like after three days five days the, the woman the girl might offer to pay for for a date or may, might offer to pay for dinner or coffee sometimes then it's fine except that and just let me point this out to any of any in case any woman are listening or watching this video right now right when a woman offers to pay on a date for a man it means a lot to us men right it's not even about the money it's just the thought that counts so we men understand that you are with us for the right reason you understand now that's that okay i'll see you guys in the next video